I know it sounds corny, but it's the truth. And before you even ask, my priest was a good man. He treated us like we were God's children. I found comfort in God and, and the church. I was able to see beauty in the world, and I came to believe the priesthood would be my life. And how did you become a doctor? At seminary, my superior noticed I was reading biology almost as much as theology. I, I needed to understand the how and the why of the human body and where the human soul fit into that. Ah, hence neurology. Exactly. I thought my superiors would balk at the idea, but it was the opposite. They encouraged me to follow both paths. That must have been tremendously challenging. And rewarding. I discovered that I can make a difference. I doubted my calling as a priest. I always knew I, I, I could do something as a doctor. Even when patients died, I knew I could ease their suffering. By Marisol? Marisol's different. I really thought, really thought that I could save that little girl and I failed. It brought me back to how harsh things were when I was a boy, like nothing ever changed, like I should have never let my guard down. With all due respect, Father Monroe, you really are missing the point. Do you know the